Good day, beautiful soul. Welcome to day 20 of our 30 days of money journey. We are making our way. We are rounding third base. Today, let us embody absolute certainty in our financial endeavors so that we can open ourselves to more wealth creation and prosperity. Let's dive in. So today's inspiration draws on the transformational power of certainty and trust and faith as a catalyst for our financial abundance. You've seen this, uh, you've probably said, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. When we believe and we have faith and there's just that certainty that's created, boy, does the fog of doubt and uncertainty start to fade away and we begin to see our financial goals standing before us in crystalline clarity, just waiting to be manifested, giving us what our next best step is. So that's what today's session is all about. We're going to practice clearly articulating our financial aspirations. We're going to practice anchoring ourselves in our unwavering faith. And we're going to practice cultivating tenacity amidst the inevitable challenges that come that will amplify our ability to manifest. And lastly, we're going to practice becoming the sentinel of our thoughts, right? Becoming the witness, observing, noticing them, notice what's no longer serving and replacing those thoughts with ones that do. I love today's quote by someone who sounds a lot like Jesus, who said, your faith can move mountains and your doubt can create them. Mm. Yeah, um, I think it's Mark uh, in the Bible, book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 23, uh, Jesus says something very similar. Uh, Faith can move mountains and doubt can create them. This leads us beautifully into our prosperity physics, where there's a, a seminal paper published in the Skeptical Inquirer by James Alcock, who is a professor of psychology at York University. And this paper brings forth that our brains and our nervous systems consist of a belief generating machine. It's like a system that has evolved to assure not truth or logic or reason, but survival. How do we survive? And James puts forth that this belief engine runs on patterns. So once it recognizes a pattern, whether it is true or not, it clings to that belief as true. And this is because our minds prioritize consistency and shy away from contradictory information. That's why we have a confirmation bias and we like to confirm the things we know. And this this cognitive bias is known as the confirmation bias. And so Alex's work suggests that the power of belief is not a magical power, but rather a product of our brain's survival-driven function. So this study's um, implications show us that as we understand our own capacity to form beliefs and demonstrate scientific foundation for the mind over matter concept. It implies that we can guide our belief engine in a particular direction and we can create more powerful beliefs, the ones we choose, and we look into the, the, the validity of them. It's just taking a moment for that self-inquiry and that reflection. So today, let us harness this knowledge and fuel our intention for more money, wealth, and abundance understanding that our brains naturally seek out patterns and cling to belief so that we can leverage this to our advantage. So in summary, with this prosperity pivot, the invitation is to simply observe patterns that align with our desires, with our heart, with our deepest sense of self, and then simply let the brain do the rest. Our Mula Mantra for today is, I am certain. I am certain. In a world where the only constant is change, being human is inherently filled with uncertainties, doubts. And so this mantra, I am certain, is an anchor of confidence and self-assurance. I love that this I am itself is a statement that serves as a proclamation of existence, of self-identity. I am. 
This reminds us that we have a purpose and we have a presence in the grand tapestry of life. And then certain followed by the I am like bolt bolsters this by emphasizing conviction in our choices and clarity in our path and confidence in our our, our abilities, uh, both the ones that we were born with and the ones that we're, we've been practicing and through our experiences. So this mantra not only serves as a statement, but uh, perhaps a commitment to ourself, a commitment to remain grounded in who you are and what you believe, even when the external circumstances try to convince you otherwise. So as we navigate the ups and the downs for today, um, perhaps using this mantra, I am certain as a touchstone, as a reminder, whenever we feel uneasy or doubt starts to creep in, perhaps silently or audibly affirming these powerful words, I am certain, letting them remind us of our essence, solidifying our conviction, fortifying our actions. Let this mantra be used throughout the day to ultimately deepen your deepest heartfelt intentions. So let's practice this. Let's put this into practice. We'll bring this mantra into our mint meditation for today. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose, filling the lungs, expanding the belly, holding for a brief moment at the top of the inhale, and then exhaling through the mouth releasing any tension you may have noticed, bringing awareness to the body, starting to just scan it. Let's move from our toes to the crown of our head. As you focus on each area of the body, bringing awareness to any tension, inviting some relaxation, any sort of releasing, Continuing the body scan up through the body. Just a nice quick scan, just checking in with the body, seeing where it's at. Deepening the inhale, noticing where that expansion might create some tension. And again, just softening that on the exhale. In your mind's eye, perhaps visualizing the words, I am certain allowing these words to float in your mental space, perhaps feeling like a glowing, warm, golden light with them, I am certain. Imagining a wellspring deep within you, overflowing with wealth. Maybe it's in the form of gold coins, just to make it visual. Maybe each gold coin is inscribed with the words, I am certain certain. Visualizing these coins filling your entire being, this, these, these energy potential spilling into the world around you, enriching everything and everyone that it touches. Perhaps repeating today's affirmation after me, I am absolutely certain about my path to financial abundance. I trust in the journey. Continuing to imagine this golden light of financial abundance and certainty expanding outward from you, seeing it touched your loved ones, your community, extending even further, empowering everyone in its path to also find their own financial abundance. Feeling a sense of gratitude, filling the heart for this present moment, for this spacious connection with ourself, for the abundance that we are cultivating, that we are trusting, that we are certain is on our way to us, that is all around us, becoming more and more receptive to allow more of the wealth that we desire flow through and for the certainty in our actions that allow that receptivity to continue to take form. Taking a deep breath in, 
capturing this feeling of certainty and abundance. And as you exhale, set this as your new default energy state. <sighs> this state of being of certainty that the universe hears our call and is supporting us in the most creative, mysterious ways. Feel free to begin uh, bringing your awareness back into the room, back into your space as we um, transition into our journal for some continued reflections. And again, feel free to carry this, feel this certainty and carry this financial abundance uh, certainty with you into your day. And now into our journal where we're just going to answer a couple questions to deepen into some self-discovery so that we know more clearly what this financial certainty means to us and how we're inspired to take action. So starting with just that, what does financial certainty mean to you? What comes up there? What does financial certainty mean to you? And this can be, you know, stream of consciousness. Maybe you're not sure, but what's beautiful is just starting with a question, starting with whatever words come through, we begin to bring the subconscious into the conscious and we begin to uh, see more of what's there for us. But again, it's hard to know from like the outset. And that's why our journal is so powerful. We can begin to call forth those underlining aspects of ourself. And so uh, moving into the next question, which is just to identify where any doubt might be holding us back, right? Like maybe speaking in, into the affirmation that we spoke, um, we said something like, <clears throat> I am absolutely certain about my path to financial abundance. Well, you know, if I'm being honest, I'm not totally certain. It's my ideal state of being to be absolutely certain. It is my intention to be for to be certain but as I speak like I am certain doubt naturally shows up and this is this is my work this is our work where we notice you know areas where perhaps we've adopted some beliefs and we can release those and adopt you know healthier beliefs that um, provide actionable steps to bring us closer to that certainty that we desire So let's take that into our prosperity pivot for today. This is where we're just going to identify one limiting belief that we hold about money. This could be something like um, money's hard to come by, M uh, money comes and goes, I'm not deserving of financial abundance, I'm so confused by money, money is a mystery, you know, all of these things that we hear and say and then begin to believe, we can take these limiting beliefs and then turn them on their head. We can reframe them into empowering affirmations that we can hold in our heart and they begin to allow the way to open. For example, maybe if one of your limiting beliefs is money is hard to come by, you could reframe this to be more like money flows effortlessly into my life. Money flows in various avenues all around me. And this act of reframing is is not just wordplay, it's a transformative exercise that allows us to practice shifting our internal narrative. That's, that's huge, right? Because this is our internal world is the reflection, or I should say the external world is often the reflection of our internal. So as we, as we intentionally pivot our internal world, we set a new course that directs us towards more of the limitless prosperity that is available uh, for us as we continue to open and open and open more into it. So let's be a little extra conscious of our internal dialogue today as we actively choose to pivot away from scarcity mentality towards more of an abundant growth mindset. And then just locking it in, wrapping it up with a little money manifestation exercise. First, first thing we're going to do is just clearly articulate what financial milestone you are aiming to reach. We have done a few smart goals as far as what, why do we want money? Why more money? Why more wealth? How does more abundance look like for us? Let's get clear again. Let's clearly articulate uh, a financial goal or minus, milestone that we're aiming for. 
And now go ahead and close your eyes and begin to vividly imagine achieving this milestone in as much rich detail as possible. What are you doing? What does it look like? How do you feel? Why is this, is this really important to you that you are at this place as opposed to this place? And lastly, we'll just go ahead and speak our goal into existence. Whatever that is for you, feel free to speak it internally or externally, share it with a friend, share it on social media, whatever, just bringing this goal to the light, making it that much more palpable and real so that we can begin to take the necessary actions. This is manifestation, like let's put it into practice. Let's practice this manifestation technique every moment that we can. Um, with balance, of course, you know, because there's all sorts of stuff we're trying to manifest these days. Beautiful. Congratulations. This is another beautiful session on our money journey. We've taken another beautiful step towards our pathway to financial certainty. Feel free to continue to reflect, meditate, and act with focus and tension as you continue to prioritize your relationship with money. Understanding that financial abundance is not a destination, it's just a path. A path that requires us to be certain and steadfast and faith-driven. And um, yeah, belief in ourself and our, and our capabilities. So I'm here rooting you on. I so look forward to continuing this journey. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be dropping into the flow, that flow state of money to unblock the money stream uh, to further allow more prosperity to pour in. So beautiful. Thank you so much for exploring with me. We're exploring our financial wounds, which can be, you know, a bit of a vulnerable, sensitive space, but that's where the growth is, right? So uh, my prayer is headed out to you that your endeavors are steeped in unwavering certainty today that you are propelled into realms of unfathomable prosperity as you continue to hold the vision and trust the process. Uh, I so appreciate you for being an integral part of our intention inspired community. Uh, we would love to hear any sort of takeaways from you in our comments. So feel free to comment below whatever this session uh, inspired. And I so look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, peace, love, and certainty. Certainty. Certainty.